There is a growing awareness in the heritage community that important sites are being lost and under increasing risk from coastal erosion brought about by accelerating climate change. We need to start looking at how at-risk sites are managed and begin conversations with the public about what can and cannot be saved. The Seaford Head project will provide a case study as to how such sites can be rapidly assessed and information on their heritage and the risk to it communicated to the public. As a town council, we're the past local government closest to our local communities and it's vitally important we represent them in their interests. As such, we're very much custodians of land and green spaces that we own on behalf of our communities. It's exciting to have such an important historic site on Seaford Head, and we are passionately committed to supporting the work that can teach us more about it before it is eventually lost to coastal erosion. As a seaside town, we're very much in the front line with the impact of climate emergency. With the increases in coastal erosion and the risks of coastal flooding, very much part of our everyday lives. A significant cliff fall in the spring of 2021 helped to expose part of the fault and also bring it to the attention of Historic England, getting the ball rolling for the work of Archaeology South East, Historic England, South Downs National Park and ourselves to make this research project possible. Historic England is the government body charged with looking after England's historic environment. Part of what we do is to identify and work towards the preservation of buildings and archaeological sites that we deem to be nationally important, which tell the story of how our ancestors lived, of who we are and where we have come from. The hill fort on Seaford Head is a sheltered monument, relevant and important to the telling of that national story. Ordinarily, that would mean we would seek to preserve the site and protect it from damage. However, because of its location, we cannot do that in perpetuity. It is a site that, in the medium to long term, perhaps a couple of hundred years from now, will be completely gone. Our response has been to place the monument on our Heritage at Risk Register. What we need to do now, and in future decades, is manage its loss, so that the information it contains, and the record of what it looks like, and what it means to local people, are all preserved for future generations. The past belongs to everyone. This is why we're beginning to explore concepts such as adaptive release, which recognises that as a landscape or historic place changes with time, so our responses to it and how it is viewed and valued must also be allowed to change. But we need to plan now, so that when the moment of final loss arrives, we can say goodbye, knowing we are prepared for that moment. The information gathered during the project will inform the future management of Seaford Head and decisions which are likely to be required in the near future about the route of the coastal path and the layout of the golf course. The project report could form the evidence base for future funding applications and provides the public a summary of what is being done on the site in the face of imminent loss. The project will also guide future studies elsewhere in the country and Historic England's expectations of what they should include. Back in November, it was great to welcome the archaeological team to Seaford Head and give them all the help we could in their vital research. We're looking forward to seeing the final report and seeing what lessons we can learn as a local council for the future and how best our town can learn about and value its assets before they are lost. It's been 40 years since archaeologists last worked on the site and we're hopeful our investigation can shed new light on this iconic monument.